That was fucking awesome. Hi, guys. Hi, coaches. Nice to see you. Nice to see you guys. Any coaches here? Yeah, we got some in the back. I did that. I coached my son's Little League Baseball team this year. Sucked. <laughs> Dude, those kids are a bunch of assholes. Those nine-year-olds. This is what happened. They're mean. That's, that's what it is. They're mean. These nine-year-olds now. They're mean. One of my son's teammates said to him, he said, my dad can kick your dad's ass. Yeah, right? My son, God bless him, he stood up for me. He said, my dad's name's Francis, so you're probably right. <laughs> Uh, that's why I drink. <laughs> Growing up was tough for me. It was, and it was tough right off the bat, too. When my mother was pregnant with me, she was 43 years old. Yeah. When you get pregnant at 43, that's not like, oh, yay, it's a boy. It's more like, oh, shit. <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> I didn't even think that could be possible anymore. Forget 16 and pregnant, 43 and pregnant. That should be the reality TV show. <laughs> right? Because at 16, you get the rest of your life to work that shit out. Yeah, 43, you don't. <laughs> no, my mom's going to be here tonight, but she can't. She's out still working, supporting the six kids she didn't want. <laughs> it's all right. I remember my sister told me that when my mother was uh, pregnant with me, she didn't even know until about five months in. She just thought they were early stages of menopause. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> my mom's old. That's what I'm trying to tell you. My mom's old. I mean, everybody's mom's old, but my mom was old when I was like 12. <laughs> you know what I mean? The only kid in eighth grade was mom showed up on Senior Citizens Day. <laughs> Embarrassing. My mom was so old that the bullies couldn't even pick on me. They didn't fuck them all up. They'd be like, hey, Francine, I banged your mom. And you're like, oh, she's 52. <laughs> it's not a cool no, What's wrong with you? Uh. And let me clear something up. I'm not talking about 52 now. I'm talking about 52 back in the 90s. My mother wasn't jogging. That's what I'm trying to tell you, people. <laughs> There wasn't a Gatorade and a treadmill by the TV. It was more like Carlton 120s and CCM water. That's what she was <laughs> She's crazy. My dad's old. He's old, crazy, and Native American. Yeah, but what that means is he's spiritual and in touch with nature. And for some reason, obsessed with death. Maybe it's just his people. I don't know. But he says the craziest shit to me. Last week he said, son, when I die, I want you to cremate my body. Let the ashes blow in the breeze, and the trees, they'll breathe in my ashes. I'll then become the leaves that you wake up every fall. <laughs> what? Seriously, is this asshole trying to give me shit to do the rest of my life? <laughs> he thinks I'm going to rake the leaves now when he's alive, when he's dead, I'm going to be Captain Rain? <laughs> What am I supposed to do when it's all done? My wife's like, hey, honey, where are you going? I'm like, I gotta take dad to the dump, that crazy bastard. <laughs> he's nuts. He always wants to tell me stories. He's nuts. He all he does is he flaps at his gums. He tells me how he watched the praying mantis, two praying mantises mate for four hours. I'm like, listen, you redefine the term, creepy old man. <laughs> what are you doing? And then he tells me how the female bites the male's head off. When they're done mating. Yeah, I thought you had to pay extra to that, to be honest with you. <laughs> really expect that. I didn't know there was an alternative for blue balls. Uh, <laughs> that's why I drink. No, but see, growing up was different for me, it really was. Like, everything was different. My parents were older, so that was different. And, like, they didn't know really. Once again, like my parents shop with me, they shop with me at the get your kids ass kicked section of the store. I don't know if you guys know what you get there, but you get to have the same shorts that all the cool kids are wearing, except they're only up to here. And then she buys me the polo shirt that she swears to God all my friends have, but that son of a bitch came down to here. Now I'm nine years old, I'm on the Hampton Beach boardwalk, I look like I'm wearing a dress, the cops don't know what to do, they're like, hi sweetheart. <laughs> oh, are you lost? <laughs> Will somebody find this little girl's parents? Please. And I'm like, oh no, my boy. What's your name, honey? 
Francis, huh? <laughs> She's confused. <laughs> It was different. Growing up was different. I have five older brothers and sisters. Anybody get older siblings? Yeah. yeah. Did you get your ass kicked growing up? Yeah. I envy you. I do. My oldest brother is 28 years older than I am. Yeah.